All right, on the record, big week. Uh, just talk about the preparations and those final preparations for NMSU. Yeah, you know, you never feel like you have enough time, particularly this early in the season. Uh, uh, but they do have a lot of the same personnel they used a year ago. That helps. Uh, uh, the problem is uh, there's some things we can't duplicate in practice, like their size, and their ability to uh, to rebound the ball. They're they're plus 19 on the boards, and that is a uh, that's an issue for us. Talk about keeping players. Uh, how much emphasis has it been to keeping players' emotions in check, um, keeping your head right going into the hostile environment on the road for the first time? Well, I, I don't necessarily worry about uh, our guys getting out of control. I, I, I don't. I think that we're a disciplined group. I think we understand um, playing hard and playing within yourself. Uh, but the road always presents challenges, and I'm sure that that one will uh, try to present itself, but I don't anticipate that being right. How do you try and uh, teach, especially some of the out-of-towners, the importance and the history of, of this rivalry? You know, no, uh, we, we haven't talked a great deal about it other than uh, there's going to be a lot of people in the stands and uh, they're going to have very good uh, players on the floor. we watched a lot of film of uh, last year and this year, so I think they understand that uh, New Mexico State's going to present uh, a, a challenge similar to what we're going to see in our conference. And is there... Maybe it's too early to comment, but is there anything you can say about the, the players you signed or early signing day? You know, uh, no, we don't have all of our letters in. We do have three guys that, that uh, we have received letters from. We're anticipating and hoping for a fourth. But uh, when we get them all in, we're going to uh, we'll have a statement for you. Cool. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. Good after it, Coach. All right,